Now we turn to the critics of the new plan. Yesterday, Vice President Pence traveled to Kentucky, perhaps to put a little pressure on one of the bill's most vocal opponents, Republican Senator Rand Paul, who is with us now. Welcome, Senator. What's wrong with this bill? I think it's uh, basically Obamacare light. Keeps the subsidies, keeps the taxes for a year, then keeps the Cadillac tax forever, the tax on good insurance. Keeps the individual mandate, interestingly. You know, Republicans have complained for a year saying we didn't like that government was going to make you pay a penalty. Well, now instead of paying the penalty to the government, you pay the penalty to the insurance industry. There's also bailouts for the insurance industries. The one primary thing that's wrong with Obamacare that's most visible to everybody is that premiums are rising and through the roof, soaring in the individual market. That will happen under the Ryan plan as well because they do nothing to fix the fundamental problem. What Paul Ryan would say is you're missing the forest for the trees, which is to say you're missing that this is changing Medicaid fundamentally, making it a block grant that goes back to the states, that it's getting rid of the Obamacare entitlement, that it's getting health savings accounts, which Republicans have long asked well, let's, for. let's start just with the Medicaid expansion. It may be fundamentally changing or it may not. They're built into Medicaid. They're going to block grant it, but not with a fixed amount of money. It's going to go up at about 5% a year. It goes up at CPI, an indicator of inflation in the medical community, which is going up at about 4% plus one. So it's going to go up at about 5% a year. The question is, is that a lot slower than what Medicaid's going up now? Is it quicker? I think it's still building in uh, the growth of an entitlement program that really isn't paid for. So, for example, under Obamacare, I think it was dishonest accounting. They said the federal government will pay for Medicaid, 100% of it. Well, we have no money. We borrow a million dollars a minute and have a $20 trillion debt, so it's dishonest. It sounds good. Give somebody stuff for free. Give them free health care. But it's not really free. We're borrowing it from China, which really threatens our country from within. You said that it, it retains uh, the individual mandate. Uh, the argument is that if you don't have something to get healthy people into the insurance market, that it right. ends up being just sicker and older people, and that's why premiums go up. Well, exactly right. The fundamental premise of Obamacare was we have to have healthy people buy it, so we're going to give them a mandate. So here's the interesting thing that left and right, people who are really looking at this agree on, it's going to get worse. The individual market will get worse when you get rid of the individual mandate and make it an insurance mandate, which is a slightly lesser penalty. And so more and more sick people will be in the pool. And let's say you've lost your job and you've lost your insurance. Do you have any incentive to get back in and pay the penalty? No, the penalty will look at people are writing now that it's a disincentive to buy insurance. Why don't you wait till you're sick? So really, you can't have an insurance model where people wait till they're sick to get insurance. It doesn't work. And here's the problem with Ryan's plan. He keeps that fundamental aspect of Obamacare. He doesn't change it. You say that, that uh, Speaker Ryan is pulling the wool over the eyes of the president. Really? Pulling the wool? I think there's a separation between the two. I've, I've talked to the president, I think, three times on Obamacare, and I hear from him that he's willing to negotiate. You know what I hear from Paul Ryan? It's a binary choice, young man. And But what does a binary choice mean? His way or the highway? There are two choices. Well, I think his argument him. would be the binary choice is you do this now through reconciliation, a Senate process that's a kind of a pain, and then you have a second piece of legislation. Well, what we're hearing is a binary choice is it's the Ryan plan or the status quo. And what he's rammed through his committee is his without any amendments. And that's the question. If we get what we've got from Ryan, Obamacare light, he will not have the votes. And we have to get to that point before true negotiations begin. Right now, I think there's a charm offensive going on. Everybody's being nice to everybody because they want us to vote for this, but we're not going to vote for it. You, you talked to the, I'm 